Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to the Lord. Father, your presence is heaven to us. Where you are is where we want to be. Lord, help us today to walk after you. Lord, help us today to chase after you. Forgive us our sins. Cleanse us this morning. Cause us to see your glory again. Cause us to see your greatness again. Cause us to experience your love once more. Lord, today we pray that there will be a greater grace, greater anointing, greater unction that will take us to another dimension so that the name of your son Jesus may be lifted. Yes. Father, we thank you that this is done yes. in the name of Jesus. Name Clap of those hands and celebrate the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I am excited because last night at around 3 a.m., God spoke to me about what to speak to you today. Amen. 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 And if you understand something about the prophetic ministry itself, the nature of a prophet is to tell you what God is saying. The nature of a prophet or the calling of a prophet is not merely to prophesy. That is just a very small portion of it. The greatest part of it is to consistently and continually be able to put you where God desires for you to be. So, sometimes, and those who are around me, they know, I don't prepare messages. I don't know how to do that. If you are to tell me, all right, prepare, we're going to preach about this, I will fail. Because I don't know how to say anything that he has not told me to say. Amen. Amen. And I am totally reliant on his ability to give me words to say. So, if he doesn't put words in my mouth, I have nothing to say. Because even if you preach from the Bible but he didn't speak to you there will be no power Amen. you see we want to do what is spiritual but we want to do it carnally it doesn't work like that you can go to Bible school as much as you want it doesn't mean God will speak through you head knowledge is different from spiritual knowledge Spiritual knowledge is different from God knowledge. Whoever speaks, you see, not every time you speak about Jesus, you'll be passionate. Passion doesn't release the power of God. Many times Jonah was told, go and preach. He didn't want to. He preached in distress. Let's see if you're going to destroy from them for real. I know you're not going to, but I will say what you want me to say. It is not about your feelings. Feelings are destroying people. Amen, amen. Amen. I wish somebody could hear me this morning. It is good to be passionate about Jesus. But the same Jesus will tell you to do some things and you're like, why do you want me to? How does this even make any sense? But his greatest desire is, are you going to obey me whether you like it or not? Wow, wow. Amen. Amen. That is the greatest thing. It is not merely, oh, you know, I feel, I feel. Mm, there are times you will not feel it. God will come to you <laughs> and tell you fast for this amount of days. Why? Just fast. Ah, but I was about to... To serve God is to die to self. Mm. To die to self simply means that I am willing and available to do anything you want me to do. So sometimes it may take me a little longer to fully get the download. I don't write notes. I never write notes. 
not because writing notes is bad. Remember, none of the things I'm saying, am I Im implying a certain standard on anybody? No, I'm not. I am just simply talking about how God trained me to do his work. That's all I'm talking about. I'm not talking about how God should use people. No, he uses everybody differently. Me from day one, he told me this one you're not going to do. And anybody who knows me that I am somebody who likes to know what I'm doing, but God taught me to be flexible. Amen. Flexibility. If he says jump, you ask how high. Not, oh, you know, my left toe hurts a little bit. If So sometimes it may take a little longer. You will worship for some time, but trust me, it's always for the best. Amen. Amen. That is why we are here after all is to love him, to appreciate him, so that he can take us to another realm. Amen. So my desire for you is to have that mindset. As children of the Most High God, as members of this house, understand that we are prophetic people. Amen. And to be a prophetic people, it means we are not programmed by men. We are programmed by the Holy Spirit. Amen. We can come to service... And spend five minutes and God says, go home. I'm okay with that. It means that he has accomplished what he wanted in us. Some of you, if it goes beyond one hour and a half, two hours, I'm over it. It means you're not here for God. You're here for you. Woo! Okay, I feel like you don't want to clap for the Lord, so I'm going to stop. Look at your neighbor, say, be prepared. Be prepared. Look at your neighbor, say, be prepared. Be prepared. Those who are watching at home, type, be prepared. Be prepared. Uh, look at another neighbor, say, be prepared. Be prepared. We are going somewhere deep today. We are going somewhere deep, deep today. today. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8, from verse 18. Are you ready? For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Can we read that again? One, two, three. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Look at your neighbor said, there is glory inside of you. There is glory inside of you. Not just the spirit of God. Not just the spirit of God. But there is glory inside of you. But there is glory inside of you. Keep reading. Verse 19. For the, for the earnest, earnest expectation of the creature waited, waited for, for the manifestation of the, of the sons of God. One more time. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. One more time. For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. Father, we thank you for your word. You may be seated in heavenly places. Amen. Now, I want you to understand something. We are going to go a little bit deep, but it will be in simplicity. Amen. Amen. Something that is simple doesn't mean it is easy. And explaining something in, in simplicity doesn't mean that it's not complex in nature. But the only way you can learn something, it has to be given to you in simplicity, not in its complexity. Everything that I teach you by the grace of God is the beginning that if you can grasp it, the other part will come automatically. No one will need to sit down and teach you because what is inside of you will unveil. Are you listening to what I'm saying? It will unveil what is already available within you. Mr. Samson, come, 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 come. Come, come, both of you, come, come sit here. Come, come, both of you, come. Please clap for them. This is my good friend. Come. I like your jacket. Please. <laughs> please. <laughs> good to see you, my friend. Good to see you. How are you? <laughs> please, please sit. Please sit. Clap for them. 
So understand this by the spirit of the living God is that be flexible to learn something because what you learn from God, your very life depends on it. Anything that God reveals by his spirit, it is because your very life depends on it. If you neglect it in your time of need, you will wish that you practiced what God revealed to you. So listen to me by the spirit of God and try to understand this. What is the glory of God before we go into what I'm trying to tell you? The glory of God is the reflection of God. That is what glory. Glory means the what foretells of who God is. Because nobody can see God, we can see his working that, are, that is beautiful, that is beyond comprehension, that brings healing, reconciliation, deliverance. We can see the manifestation of the God nature, not just the supernatural, but the God nature upon a human being that has flaws, that is flawed, that has mistakes. But you can see something beyond them that points you to God. That is what glory really is. Amen. To see the glory of God is to touch the hem of his garment. But as a child of God, the glory of God is trapped within you. Not just the spirit of God, but the glory of God. What will reflect? Remember, the spirit of God in you benefits you. The glory of God revealed through you benefits others to come to God. Amen, amen. I wish somebody could hear what I'm saying. So I want you to grasp this profoundly by the Spirit of God. Now the Bible is saying, for the earnest expectation of creation, other, ver other versions say creation, waited for the manifestation of the sons of God. What does manifestation mean? In, in Greek, I believe it is... Uh, um, uh, uh, what is this um, word I'm looking for? Um, it's the same word as revelation. Uh, apocalypsis. The unveiling. The opening. of Or the revealing of something that is present that you cannot see. Now, you have to understand something very beautiful. As a child of God, you fail. In your prayer life, in your spiritual life, because you don't know how to walk with an atmosphere or controlling atmospheres. <laughs> Nothing of the spirit operates without an atmosphere. I'll say that one more time. Nothing of the spirit and even the natural operates without the ability to control or to create an atmosphere. Let me give you an example. When you go to the movie theater, there is an atmosphere that they have created that will make you focus on the screen. They don't have lights flashing everywhere. There is a way the seats are set so that you don't talk to each other, so that you can look straight. There is a surround system that they've put, or Dolby, or whatever it's called, that they have put to maximize the experience to make you to be immersed more in what you're watching. So whenever a new movie is released, you want to see it in the theaters more than seeing it at home. Why? Because there is an atmosphere yes. that will make you enjoy the movie better yes. than you would even if you watched it at home. Yeah. I feel like I'm talking to myself. That is why even though there were shutdowns and everything, the moment everything opened up, people are still going to the theaters. Why? It is an atmosphere. That makes you, mm, I want to watch this thing. Oh, that movie is coming up. Man, don't even tell me about it. I'm going to go see it in the theater. Why? You will appreciate the movie more. You will understand the movie more. You will feel the movie more because when the bass goes, boom, you can't feel it at your house. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Talking to us. So they took a building 
and created an atmosphere yeah. that they will get your fifty dollars, forty dollars every time a movie comes out guaranteed. When you go and watch a movie in a movie theater, you are not paying to see the movie. You are paying for the atmosphere. Yeah. I'm, I'm talking to my, I feel like I'm talking to myself. You are paying for the atmosphere. And for them to make you to pay for the atmosphere, they will hold back the movie for a few weeks so that you don't get it at home. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hello. If you go to a military base, the atmosphere tells you it's a place of being serious. Everybody is dressed a certain way. Uniform represents purpose. That is why you cannot be in the military and just dress anyhow. Because uniform represents purpose and where there is purpose there is ranking and where there is rankings it means there is different operations and delegation of power so whenever you go to the military they take you into an environment you have never been in in an atmosphere you have never been in in three months they will change you to be a different person that even when you go home, you still carry the same atmosphere that you had in camp. At 5 a.m., you will wake up without an alarm. You will shave up, your bed will be made. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Notice, you are just not in an atmosphere. But they put the atmosphere in you. I feel like I'm talking to myself. They put the atmosphere inside of you. That whenever you wake up, you're always proper. You have firm handshakes. You look at people straight in the eyes. Yes, sir. No, sir. You are ready to do something at any time. Why? They have now put an atmosphere in you. That when you go into the civilian world, you're like, why is everything so chaotic? You see, chaos is also an atmosphere. Wow, wow. Teaching good. Teaching real good. I feel like somebody would understand me, would appreciate what God is saying to you. When me and my brother used to be a performer, performers, me and Christian, will go and play concerts. I never liked the atmosphere. I'll go do whatever we had to do. We'll go, I'll go straight home. My cousin Masengo, if he's here, he'll tell you if my brothers were here. I never stayed back. Whenever we did our performances, I would, you won't see me. I'm gone. But even in those environments, notice they have created an atmosphere where you feel you can be anything you want to be. Lights up. It's so dark light. But so you can just, you can be cool. If you've never been cool, you can, hey, what's up? How you feeling? Yeah. What do you, what, what do you do? Man, you know, I own a few businesses. Because you know, if you get out of there, nobody will see you again. <laughs> so they've created a certain mode of light to create an atmosphere where everybody gets in his cool. When you go to a basketball game, there is an atmosphere. They actually give you things to make sure that you participate lights. All these things cannot work without an atmosphere. And these are merely natural physical things. These are, are merely natural Nothing spiritual, natural things that even men understand that if we are going to do something, let us create an atmosphere that will make these men pour themselves into it more. These are natural people, not supernatural people. 
but they have this understanding. When they create a commercial for you with a burger dripping and the, with the music and everything, you're trying to get a six pack, but you see it, you, you're like, they just created an atmosphere that made you hungry when you're not hungry. Immediately. So they are controlling and manipulating your own atmosphere in your own house. They are forming a whole culture of people because of an atmosphere that they are putting out. If most of the people from the 40s, 50s, 60s were here, they would say, what kind of world is this? What planet is this? Because the atmosphere is completely shifted. Until today, I still carry my mother's atmosphere whereby if she says, God do this, huh? You just feel a slap hit you without even hitting you. <laughs> you feel the fivefold ministry coming hard on you. Until today, there are things that I never did simply because when I think of that atmosphere, <laughs> you already know you're, you are dead before you are dead. You attended your own funeral. You, you read your own eulogy. You, Oh, poor man. He died before his time. You saw everything because they created an atmosphere of respect. That even when you... My mom used to do this. If you did something, just tell on yourself. We, listen, I believed my mother was a supernatural being. She knew what I was thinking. She knew that I did something before. Just tell on yourself. She created an atmosphere that we were naked before her. Not because she's fine, just the atmosphere. Mama, I'm sorry I did this. Also, oh, you did it. Okay. It's good that you're honest. You said, you said it. If you didn't, my friend, get up. <laughs> are, are you getting what I'm saying? The reason why you want a nice neighborhood to raise your children is because it is an atmosphere for children. Remember, this we are just addressing physical things. But the Lord God himself, before he deals with any kind of restoration, creation, God himself creates an atmosphere. God himself creates an atmosphere. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3. Notice when you read verse 1, it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and the earth was, was without form and void and, and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the water. Before the spirit of God did anything, God created an atmosphere that is familiar to him. An atmosphere that he uses to create everything. Without that atmosphere, he's not doing anything even though the spirit of God was there. What did God say? Let there be light. The moment he made him, the moment the atmosphere of light came. Notice he did not say God created light. Mm. It is not mentioning God creating light here. The Bible says that God is covered in light. Mm. Mm. In him there is no shadow of darkness. So in order for God to create... I feel like I'm talking to myself. Teaching. In order for God to do what he needed to do, the first thing that he did is he made sure that the place that he was in felt familiar to him. He created an atmosphere of light. Amen. Amen. Many of you pray without an atmosphere. That is why your prayer doesn't work. I feel, let me look for people that I can talk to. If God is creating an atmosphere, uh -huh. how can you operate without an atmosphere? Mm. The Holy Spirit is not an atmosphere. 
but the Holy Spirit functions in an atmosphere. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. No, maybe people didn't hear what I'm saying. The Holy Spirit is not the atmosphere, but the Holy Spirit works through an atmosphere. Yeah. I don't know if somebody's getting what I'm saying. So if God, before he does anything, is creating an atmosphere. You have no idea to, you just pray. You don't know how to create an atmosphere. Mm. That is why demons can touch you left and right because there is no atmosphere. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm done. I feel like, you know, this is, this is something from God's heart, but people are looking at me like a stranger. It's rich. This Maybe is rich. I should go to the overflow sanctuary. This is rich. You're teaching good. Maybe I should go to the overflow sanctuary. Look, look at them celebrating. Maybe we should go to them. Are, are you listening to me? Yes. If God is functioning, walking with an atmosphere, do you know why you feel the presence of God? You don't see him, but you feel it. Because he creates an atmosphere when he walks. Amen. Jesus. When God comes in a place, you feel him. Why do you feel him? He's creating an atmosphere. Mm. Uh. That atmosphere will announce that God is in a place. Amen. You will not need to see him. You will not need to touch him. Yes. You just need to feel a certain presence. Yeah. I decree and declare that the glory that is hidden inside of you. Yeah. The ability to create an atmosphere that God will be in a place because of you. Amen. Is being unlocked in the name of Jesus. I receive. And sit for two seconds. Are you still here? Yes. Are you sure you can hear me? Yes. Even the Lord Jesus himself. Let, let, let me show you. Let me show you and finish. Luke chapter 5, verse 17. Luke chapter 5, verse 17. This will blow and explode your brain. Amen. Are you ready? Yes. Listen to what it says. And it came to pass on a certain day, as he was teaching, notice who was teaching? Jesus. Mm -hmm. That there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by him which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Not Jesus. Uh -huh. Come on. Jesus is teaching, but there was an atmosphere of power yeah. available to heal people. Uh, you My didn't God. hear what I just told you. My God. I feel like you just missed it. Sit for two seconds. Hey. Ah, you're teaching good. Hey. So whenever Jesus was moving, he had an atmosphere with him. You see, Christians don't understand. Have you ever noticed when I'm doing prophetic, I'm doing prophetic. When I'm doing deliverance, I'm doing deliverance. When I'm doing healing, I'm only doing healing. Have you ever noticed that? Yes. When I want to do a healing service, I know the atmosphere that takes for healing to happen. When I'm doing deliverance, I know what atmosphere I need to do deliverance. When I need to do prophecy, I know what atmosphere is suited for the prophetic. Do you know why... Somebody went to Samuel and told Samuel, Samuel, we have a problem. Can you prophesy? Do you know what Samuel said? Bring me a musician. Come on. He didn't care if he was Holy Ghost filled. He said, just bring me somebody with a harp. Yeah. Mm. Can you play me this kind of thing? The moment that person starts to pray, play, it creates an atmosphere he can enter into the prophetic realm. Wow. Wow. Okay, you guys, I, wow. I don't think you're understanding what... I, 
I don't know if you can hear me. We hear you. But for me, by God's grace, I am advanced whereby I know how to switch atmosphere at any time to prophesy when I need to, to heal when I need to, to deliver us if I need to. Why? Because I have understood the workings of the Spirit. If you don't understand atmospheres, you will be like Daniel. Fasting for 21 days unnecessarily. Mm. I know your pastor told you we are doing 21 day fast. It's not biblical. It was a mistake. Mm. Teach it. You, listen, you can hate me all you want. Read your Bible. It's not biblical. Daniel fasted. When Gabriel came on the 21st day, notice it wasn't a date he was trying to break his fast. If Gabriel came 50 days later, then you would have 50 day fasting. Mm. It is Gabriel that stopped him from fasting. Gabriel showed up and told him, listen, Daniel, most esteemed servant of the most high God, from the day you set your mind concerning these things, I was sent to you. Yeah. Mm. But the prince of the power of the air withheld me 21 days. Woo! You are doing something that was because of a demon. What is wrong with you? Woo! Teaching. Teaching good. What is wrong with you? A demon caused there to be a delay. You have taken a delay to be a prayer point. You... I feel like I'm talking to myself. Sit down, sit down. I am not saying you cannot fast for 21 days. That's not what I'm saying. You can fast for as much as you want, as the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit gives you permission to do. But you are creating a doctrine of an effect of a demon withholding an answer. Mm. And you also stand up proudly, you say, I am doing the Daniel fast. If Daniel was here, he would slap you. <laughs> I will slap the nonsense out of you. Say, listen, I didn't need to fast for 21 days. It was a mistake. I failed to control the atmosphere wow. of Babylon. Wow. Wow. I lived here for many years. I never pulled down the prince of the power of the air. Wow. That my answers are being delayed. It is because of that atmosphere I was thrown in the lion's den. It was because of that atmosphere my brothers were thrown into the furnace of fire. God delivered us, but they did not stop persecuting us because I did not shift the atmosphere. God. Sit, 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 sit. We are, we, you know, to be honest with you, we are the sheep of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But you know sheep are the dumbest livestock. Mm -hmm. That is what God gave us his spirit. But the problem is we are actually still natural sheep, not spiritual ones. Mm -hmm. Sheep are ready to fight each other, fight anyone. They just do whatever. They are... It's crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, dogs help to herd sheep. That is why many of you don't know the difference between somebody that has been sent to lead you and a wolf that is trying to eat you. Mm. My God, my God. You mistake the wolf for a dog that is supposed to help you. And a dog for a wolf that is ready to eat you. Wow, my God. Mm, I know many of you don't understand when he's talking about wolf in sheep clothing. It is not talking about a wolf dressed like a sheep. It is a wolf pretending to be part of the flock. Mm. Okay, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Uh, uh, can you hear me? Yes. I, I don't know if back there people can hear me. Are you, are you here? So this is a profound issue. 
it is a very, very big issue. Because many of you, you are in places that are troublesome. Because, not because God can defend you. Do you know what the edge of protection was that Job was working with? It was an atmosphere. Job had an atmosphere that covered his family. And he maintained it by his lifestyle. We know righteous people that suffered. Job didn't suffer because of a man. Job suffered because God allowed his atmosphere to be taken from him. When you create an atmosphere, demons will see you from a distance and come and report themselves. Amen. Amen. When Jesus came out of a boat, Jesus arrives at a location. Because of the atmosphere that Jesus was carrying, a man possessed with devils, not because Jesus was doing a prayer point. Jesus has just arrived. But the at- come on, come on, come on. The atmosphere, uh-huh. when he just touched the ground, yeah. demons ran. They said, sir, <laughs> forgive us for being in this place. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't punish us. Uh-huh. Allow us to leave your atmosphere. Yeah. Yes. So even though they went into the pigs, they dove into the sea because Jesus was not in the sea. Mm. Yeah. Because the moment Jesus stepped into the land, yes. he controlled the atmosphere. Yes. So good. Mm. Sit down. Let me tell you some spiritual warfare secrets. Amen. Let let me tell you some spiritual warfare secrets. You know, many of you, it is a good thing you cannot see. Mm. It is good that God inspires you, you don't see. I'm telling you the truth. Many of you, uh, you will become great preachers for the devil. Mm. You know, I am so surprised when people claim to be prophets, but all they talk about is dark spirits. Where are the angels that visit you? At least even if it is in a dream inspiration, that's okay. Because these things are in standards, levels, and dimensions. It's fine. Be inspired by light. We, that is our atmosphere. But you're saying you're a servant of God. Which prophet do you see in the scriptures? Was always talking about, I saw a demon pass. I saw a dark figure. I just see demons. I just see... Your atmosphere reveals you have a spirit. Mm. Mm. Because you are only seeing... According to the atmosphere. Uh You're you're not listening to me. I am being honest. I know there is a lot of young developing prophets. A familiar spirit will be playing you. But because you have not been taught by a senior prophet, you won't know. Mm. Do you know why I see angels? Why I hear angels? I can prove it at any time. Even now if I want it. Let me give you an example. Sir, right there, stand. You, you, you. You, 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 you. Yes, stand. Who works at the post office? Professor. Listen. I can do it at any time. I cannot teach you what I cannot do. If I can't do it, call me a liar. Mm. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I'm just trying to show them that I can control my atmosphere. Amen. What is letter H? Letter H? Yes. Uh, that's my, my last name. What is it? Hagens. Professor! You're clapping, you're clapping. Is Listen to me. Your coming to this house was actually your deliverance. Mm. Amen. Amen. Can you hear me? There is a lot of things that have worked against you. Right now, even as we are speaking, the angel of the Lord is telling me 
yeah. that you've been asking yourself, Lord, with the way the economical things are looking and the way I am working, how can I be able to sustain my life off what I am making? Yes. Huh? Yes. Yes. True. Is this true? Not true. 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 Prophesy. True. Prophesy. True. The Lord says the atmosphere that will be unlocked in you. Amen. Thank you, Father. I receive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you. Sit for two seconds. Sit, 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 sit. There is already an atmosphere that is unlocked. Mm. Amen. Thank Amen. You. I receive. I receive. <laughs> sit, sit. Why did I do that? Notice I knew exactly what God wanted for him. How? An atmosphere. Mm. If, listen, if I cannot look at somebody... And hear God, it means I don't carry my atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I am very strict with those who serve around me. I am very flexible. But when it comes to serving God, I don't play games. Amen. If you destabilize or do something that is not flowing with what I want to do, I will immediately take you out of there. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I understand the importance of an atmosphere. Mm -hmm. I am sorry, I'm going to use an example that will open your eyes a little more. Do you realize that Pastor Benny Hinn doesn't actually pray for the sick? He creates an atmosphere that you will get healed on your own. You just say, uh, uh, lift your hands. Hallelujah. Sweet Jesus, we love you. Then all of a sudden, you, Pastor Benny, there is a woman right here that her leg was broken and now she can walk. And then you come, sweet Jesus. Power. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. He is not doing anything. He discovered atmospheres. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Teaching. Teaching good. Sit down. Sit down. He discovered atmospheres. Mm. He understood how they work. And he learned it from Catherine Kuhlman. In fact, Catherine Kuhlman actually walked with healing. Yeah. But notice, somebody who understood how atmosphere works had more impact than somebody who was simply carrying the gift of healing. Mm -hmm. mm. Catherine Kuhlman raised people from wheelchairs by touching them, saying, get up. She opened blind eyes. She opened deaf ears by commanding it. This man, notice, notice how, uh, 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 how can I say it? Risk free. So if you don't get healed, you can't say he was not anointed. Because he's just creating an atmosphere for you to be healed. But you know him as the greatest healing evangelist. <laughs> you didn't get the wisdom, the spiritual wisdom. You didn't understand the spiritual wisdom. And I love Pastor Benny. I know him. Lovely man. Good man. But he is so strict about his atmosphere. I've been with him. We've been with him in meetings. Sit down with him. Chat with him. Pastor Benny is a good man. Given me a lot of advice. But he's such a calculated if somebody begins to manifest because of an atmosphere say take them out take them out take them out he does you won't see him sitting there saying come out because he knows that is not what he has been given mm -hmm. he just knows me by god's grace i walk with this atmosphere yeah. that can create healing mm -hmm. i don't have the gifting inside of me but i have an atmosphere mm that I can release from within me. Mm. Wow. Wow. So it doesn't matter where he goes in the world. Mm. Same things happen over and over and over again. Do you know why? He's controlling an atmosphere. Man, mm. so good. Amen. And where did he get that atmosphere? Putting chairs for Catherine Kuhlman. Mm. So an atmosphere can be imparted to you. Woo! See, hallelujah. See, it. Ah, your celebrating is too small. Solomon, Solomon was given an atmosphere of wealth. Mm -hmm. That is why people are coming from everywhere to just give him money to sit and listen to him talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Teach, Papa. 
Not because he was even advising them. They would just come and see a day in the court of Solomon. Ah. What kind of money is they are just bringing money? Why? It is an atmosphere. Do you know why the scripture doesn't get fulfilled in your life? Where it says, and men and women will give unto your bosom. Not because we are not talking about payment. We are not talking about being paid. There are people who just see you and come and say, listen, I've been building a $10 billion company and I just feel in my heart that 5% should belong to you. Amen. Receive it. You, you see, so, uh, <laughs> we just think you being part of this. Just because of who you are, just being part of it. It will make this thing great. Not because you're going to be in the boat. They just want to give you something. By them saying, so and so is actually a shareholder. It creates an atmosphere everybody wants to invest. Amen. Amen. See I prophesy to somebody. Yeah. There is an atmosphere of the spirit. Receive. Receive. There is an atmosphere that will move around you. I receive. I receive. Sit, sit. <laughs> sit, 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 sit for a little bit. I promise I'm about to finish because we have the trading post. Mm. Listen, right now, if we say amen and finish service, you have received so much. Amen, 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 amen. I don't need to, there are times that I can stand here and be, and God said, man, you're going to make it. Huh? Everything is going to change. Huh? There's nothing wrong with that. It's good. But for me, you see, a prophet is a mediator of the natural and the supernatural. He is here to spill the beans on what is happening spiritually. Amen. So that you can become part of it. Amen. Thank so you. that when the move of God is flowing, you don't miss it. Amen. That is what the prophetic is. It's not about opening. Do you realize that I taught you something that is in the Bible you could not see? Because I only used scriptures to make you understand what was happening without you seeing it. Many of you have just been praying, Father anoint me, Father anoint me. You did not know that Jesus was not just anointed. He carried an atmosphere. You can be anointed without an atmosphere and you will be of no effect. Somebody with an atmosphere will outdo you yet you are anointed. Wow. Mm. Good. Saul was anointed. When he wronged God, God took the atmosphere. He only remained with the anointing. David came with an atmosphere and the anointing. People began to sing songs. Saul killed a thousand. David killed ten thousand. Yet David is a soldier mm. of Saul. Right. But his atmosphere Woo. had already swallowed up Saul's throne. Wow. He was already king without being on the throne. Woo. I prophesy you are entering into that place. I receive. You will overtake your enemies. I receive. You will be upon the throne. I receive. In the mighty name of Jesus. Woo. Yes. So you need to, you, you see, the Bible says work out your own salvation. People think it is talking about being entering heaven that's not what he's talking about if you read in proverbs i believe even psalms it says many are the afflictions of the righteous but the lord delivereth them from from it all we are talking about afflictions not the, the not the salvation of your soul that was done by jesus but the afflictions of life it is up to you to decode the mysteries of the kingdom come on, come on. if you don't decode the mysteries of the kingdom you will think God has an appointed time for you to be blessed. Yet God, you will say, to, next year is my year. Let me ask you a question. Does God have next year? Uh, does God have the next minute? Come on, Papa. God lives in an eternal now. Come on, Papa. If you tell him next year, God doesn't understand it because next year is not his reality. Woo! Jesus. So when does God want you to get blessed? Right now. Right now. now. Right See, now. Because your past and your present and your future is right now to him. Yes. yes. 
What keeps you from being blessed? What keeps you from being elevated? What keeps you from open doors? Is the fact that you have not matured to the spiritual reality that is awaiting you. Come on. Oh my God. Come on. Physically, you are here. Uh -huh. Come. God's reality, you are here. Mm -hmm. The difference between you being here and there is not prayer. It is one simple thing. Let this mind be in you. That was also in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. There is a consciousness that you are lacking. Come on. You think it is effort that will get you to the spiritual side. Nope. Come on. There is a spiritual impactation, impartation, implantation, transformation. Mm -hmm. That has to happen within you. That naturally, you will no longer see, even though physically you are here, your eyes will see from there. Amen. Wow. And naturally, this will just catch up Amen. to what God already ordained. Amen. Amen. Ah, please, please sit, 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 sit. I promise I'm finishing in two minutes. This is why. The temple in the time of Jesus, even though Jesus went to the temple, Jesus did not go to the temple because of their atmosphere. Jesus went to the temple because of the atmosphere he carried. Because if you notice the temple of Solomon and the rebuilt temple in the time of Jesus were completely different. Why? In the time of Solomon, when Solomon stood before the temple, when it was accomplished, God told him build the temple. He didn't just build it and stopped. Solomon understood it is not a temple until the atmosphere of heaven has covered it. Amen. 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 So what did he do? He got a lot of sacrifices that he put before God. Offered the greatest sacrifice before the temple of God. And then he prayed and said, Lord... Whenever anyone will ever look to this wall, answer them. Do you know what the Bible says? The Bible says that there was a presence, there was an atmosphere that descended like a cloud upon the temple that nobody could stand up. He, for him to maintain it, do you know what he did? He made sure that 24-7 there was worship that went on in the temple. Mm, amen. Non-stop. But the atmosphere will be so heavy that the priest will get in there with Mike Dupree. Hallelujah. <laughs> Everyone will pass out under the power. Why? The atmosphere was so thick. You tell me if there is such kind of atmosphere, will there be sick among you? No. Will cancer survive in you? No. no. Will HIV survive in anybody? No. no. Will arthritis remain in anybody? No. Will anybody die in that kind of atmosphere? No. So your issue is not prayer. You lack atmospheres. Deep. Man. Look, uh, uh, my son, my son uh, um, and daughter Heather and her husband Josiah are not here. But this has happened to many, many people that I feel, okay, I will let you pray in my prayer room. Mm. The reason why my prayer room is such a sacred place to me is because I know the atmosphere that is in there. Mm. I understand it. I understand it 100%. Trying to have a baby, trying to have, I didn't pray for them. I never prayed for them. I told them, come to the house. They came to the house. I said, go into my altar. Told them, remove your shoes. Because in my prayer room, I don't wear shoes. Remove your shoes. Wash your feet, wash your hands, get in. Kneel there, you and your husband. Tell God what you want. They knelt down. They said, oh Lord, you know we want this and this and this and this. And I was sitting outside. Waited for them. Well, when they finished, they walked out. I said, it is done. Go home. Amen. Immediately, <coughs> they were pregnified. Not because I prayed. Amen. Amen. 
I didn't pray for them. Just that atmosphere. You cannot go in there with problems and come out the same. Amen. Do you know that me, myself, I don't go in there playfully. I can go weeks, I don't go down there because I fear. <laughs> I know the atmosphere that is down there. Ah, me, myself, it worries me. Because sometimes I can be in there and then the, the atmosphere gets so strong, I just pass out. I'll have angelic encounters and then come back to myself. So sometimes it's nerve-wracking. Ah, well, ah. Because when you're in there and it comes upon you. Yeah, okay, here we go. <laughs> Literally, sometimes I think like that. The reason why you get tired when you are praying is you pray without an atmosphere. Do you know why you can go to the club and dance all night and don't get tired? You won't even need to sit. Imagine alcohol is entering you. You are, ooh, but that makes you. Mm, 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 mm. Before you got saved, filled with the Holy Spirit. There is an atmosphere that in the every time you want to sit down, the DJ knows to play a certain tempo. Every hour has a certain tempo. Even the lights inspire you. It's like going to the gym, right? When you go to the gym and you want to lift heavy, imagine if they played Celine Dion and break my heart. <laughs> 10 pounds will become 100 pounds. Right, right, right. Say you love me. <laughs> Who's playing that? But if they change that song to boom, Let's go! Why? They just created an atmosphere that controlled you. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. You walk around, let's go! Yeah. You want to do cardio? Don't leave me out in the rain. You'll start running in slow motion. <laughs> but they just play Afrobeat. You want to bamba? You want to... You will run. Cardio will be strong. Why? Right. Not because you, you... An atmosphere of your body has been changed. Yes. Oh, dear. If you have Peloton at home, I have those things. I have the treadmill, I have the bike. I have... None of them have boring music. Hip hop time. Punch. Come on, let's go. They will, they will do all this because they know that's the only way they will move you. Right, right, right. If there was no music and they're just saying, okay, let's go, you'll be like, man, this thing is. You will check out. Right. So you check out of prayer because you have no atmosphere. Mm. Your problem is you think worship music is atmosphere. Mm. No, it is not. Oh, you're tating. I am really whooping some people today. Teaching, teaching amen, good. Amen, amen. And it's for the better. Amen, we receive. Just because you get on Spotify or you still use CDs or cassettes and you put, Spirit lead me where am I? And you feel, ooh, shanda ba 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 shak. That is not an atmosphere, you're in your feelings. That is not an atmosphere. It's rich. This is rich. You are fooling yourself. <laughs> Spirit, lead me where. Oh, Shaka, Lord. Oh, Rabba, Baba. Ah, ah. Mm, ah, ah, ah. When the music stops, mm, amen. <laughs> you are not in any atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't affected you. You are enjoying a song. Right. You are not enjoying the presence. Right. Do you know the Bible says something? It says, 
He says it like this. The heart is deceitful above all things. It is desperately weak. It is de weaker to even deceive you who possesses it. Mike, stand up my son. Give him a mic. For how long when we started, I refused to play worship music when we prayed? For a while. Over maybe a couple years, year and a half too. I refused because I wanted them to learn mm -hmm. the presence of God doesn't come because we have a piano. Yeah. This is over 10 years ago. Yes. Mike, I knew how talented Mike was. Mike was like, Papa Lo, we can add worship. I said, no. Mm. True. Do you realize whenever I want to do an atmosphere of healing, deliverance, I tell them to turn off the music. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Amen. When I'm casting out demons, do you hear me saying, play worship music? Because I don't need it. It doesn't help what I'm doing. It can play. But I don't want you to think that it is the music that is doing. That is nonsense, people. That is not what creates an atmosphere. Amen. Mike is my witness. Amen. Mike, when my son Mike met me, spent time with me, spent so much time with me. Actually, I feel sorry for the new sons and daughters. Mm. Because Mike <laughs> got the best of everything. Right. Amen. Now, I'm being honest. Amen. Because not only, not only is he a son to me, but he was my friend. Mm. Nobody was around me at that time. It was just Mike. Mm. He will come. You know, this is why he, his family, his wife, his children are very special to me. When I met Cameron, who's a big girl now, mm. Cameron didn't even know how to talk. Mm, she learned how to talk because of Andrew. Yeah, mm. true. Amen. That's how long I've, I've known them. Amen. She was a little baby. All of them, I've seen all the babies being born except Cameron. Mm. Now, now, now watch this. Mike spends so much time with me every day in the morning. You, I don't know if you remember this, Candace. He will bring me fruit baskets with roses. I'm like, uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> He'll bring me fruit baskets and roses. I'm like, ah. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> one time, one time. <laughs> one time. One time. But, but let me tell you something. But the reality is this. Do you know what revelation he must have had for him to do that? Because anybody that knows me close, I will never ask you for anything. Amen. Amen. I will give you before you give me anything. Amen. That is just how I am. Because anything around me must be done by revelation. I will know where you're supposed to be. But I won't do anything until it is revealed to you. Because if I come and I tell you, you will think I'm trying to tell you to gain something from you. Amen. Yet I don't need anything. Look at me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Mike spends time with me. A lot of time. He tells me, Papa, I'm going to, to visit my family. I said, go. You will see how God is going to go with you. Mike goes to his brother's, was it your brother's house? Yes, my brother's house. Brother's house, and he's like, okay, let, let me pray. He said, when I started praying, it felt like you were in that place. Is this not true? Amen. When Amen. he just started praying, he didn't even, everybody started getting delivered and manifesting demons. Amen. Mike, let, let, I'm just trying to show you something. Mike, did I ever pour oil on you to pray for you? No. Did I lay no. hands on you to do any Never. of these things? Never. Never. He just spent so much time that the atmosphere transferred. Amen. Yee! Amen, it's true. This I am telling you, okay, let me use somebody. I am using OGs mm. so that you know this thing did not start yesterday. What I am telling you is a lesson God taught me a long time ago. Last night, he actually taught me to teach you. Amen. Amen, amen. But this is something that... I have known and I was not taught with the Bible. No, that's not how the Lord Jesus taught me. And I will tell you how he taught me. But when he told me to teach you, he gave me verses so that you can believe that it is God. Amen. Amen. The word of God is the foundation. Yes. It is not the ceiling. Mm -hmm. 
It is good for doctrine. It is good for correction. It is the bedrock of what we are doing. It is not the ceiling. If today, right now, they persecute me to, because I say, I can hear the voice of angels, I can see them. But is it not all over your Bible? Why don't they believe it? Because to them, the Bible is a fairy tale. They don't believe what they read. They don't believe it. It's just words. They absolutely don't believe it. If right now I said, I tell them that I went to pray somewhere and an angel of God appeared to me on a bush, they will say, you're trying to be Moses. But I thought if the Bible is the foundation, shouldn't that be normal? Yes. 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 How can you prove that that really happened? Have I not brought an atmosphere that proves that I actually had that encounter? That is the evidence. That's what the Bible means by their fruits you shall know them. It's not talking by their character. We have people in the world that have very good character, but their, but their atmosphere cannot benefit you. Their fruits is their ability to give somebody something and they are changed. That is how you know who is from God and who is Amen. not. Amen. Not because they are well behaved. Amen. There are people in the world that do better charity than you. There are people in the world that don't lie. There are people in the world that don't do anything that you do. They probably do 1% of what you've seen. But they have no atmosphere. Their character can't benefit you. It just testifies that they are outstanding men. But Samson, who did all kind of wahala, delivered a whole nation. That is the difference between fruits. Is a godly character necessary? Absolutely. But is it enough? No. Let me, let me use an example. One of my other sons, uh, Dr. Bantu, please. I use doctor and Bantu in the same sentence. Look at how handsome he is. Handsome African man. Amen. Clap for him. Amen. Superstar. Let me tell you something. He can deliver the whole church, this guy you're seeing there. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it like playfully. I'm telling you the truth. You are seeing him there. He can open his mouth to pray right now. If you have demons, they will come out. That guy. You see his hair cool. You see his nice suit. He looks like a, a Joseph with a coat of many colors. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you see him in the music business, but you think he's walking alone. No, he's not. All these are people that soaked up an atmosphere in the time that I was easily accessible. Wow. Right now, I became more stingy with what I have because I realized people are not who they say they are. Mm. In the beginning, I was very open. Then when I realized that people's hearts are wicked, daddy, I changed. I started saying, no, you have to prove yourself before you come close. Yeah. Because some of them will receive what you have. Tomorrow, they will not even credit you for it. Amen. They won't even say, you know what? What I have... I received it from this man. Yeah. They will feel like they are being belittled. I know many of them. So I just watch now. I'm like, mm. If he wanted to open a church, he could. It's just his calling his music. But if he wanted to, he would. He had been, no, he had been spending time watching videos, listening to teachings. He was so immersed to this day, it's still the same thing. He went to visit his family. How many years ago was this? Um, I think eight years ago. Eight years ago. He travels back home. And remember, he comes from a family of believers. They are not heathens. Full of the Holy Ghost. Rabba, Shadu, Gabaka. He comes from that. Very well manicured in the spirit. So he went home, he was telling his parents about it, he was telling his grandparents, he went to, you went to visit your grandparents, if I can remember correctly. Yeah, I went to visit my grandparents. He went to visit his grandparents and he's in the house with the grandparents. Please tell them what happened so that they don't think I'm making up a story. <laughs> so Papa, um, I was at my grandmother's house um, in the village and she was there with my granddad and uh, they also had the, um, the house help. And so I said to them, you know, let's have a, 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 an evening prayer. Let's pray together. I want to, you know, just lead us in prayer. And as I started to pray, um, the, the cleaning lady who was there, um, she started to manifest immediately. And um, it was something that I had only seen um, Papa Lo do 
um, at the house as we would meet on Thursdays. And so now I was there and I said, hey. <laughs> but, but immediately, immediately as, as the demon started to manifest, um, I just felt this boldness and just um, spirit and atmosphere come immediately. And I knew exactly what to do. I even at some point I said, guys, get a bucket. She's going to throw up. I, I, I knew exactly um, what was going on and I cast out the demon and um, Do you, she was moving like a crocodile, remember? She went on the ground. She was moving like a, an animal, like a crocodile, making all kinds of noises. And, uh, you know, my, my little brother was there at the time. I think it was 15. And uh, even his eyes, he was like... <laughs> my family was so shocked because, uh, you know, we had prayed together as a family many times, but it was the first time I'd been back home after spending time with Papalo. Now, Now, notice this. Notice this. Let me just give you an example. Imagine that woman if she was a witch. She would have flung. And, the, and, her, and his grandparents, I'm not saying they're not anointed. They're men and women of God. They love the Lord. But that demon was just under the radar. Being fed, being groomed, just messing you up in your own house. Wow. Wow. Amen. Destroying you in your own house. Cleaning for you, cooking for you. But there is a, the person may not even know that they are a vehicle for a demon. Amen. Doing all these things for you, but you're wondering, why is there no breakthrough? Why is there no this? There was already another atmosphere you don't even know. The atmosphere is cleaning for you, folding clothes for you, doing all these things for you. Please turn off the air. You're changing my atmosphere. <laughs> But, but just, just imagine, just imagine one instance of somebody that just tapped into another atmosphere, took that atmosphere somewhere and just opened his mouth to pray. Ninjas are starting to show up and do funny things. Imagine. You see, the reason why so many people cannot discern who is from God, who is not from God, you don't know atmospheres. Many looked at Jesus, they said, this young guy, who does he think he is? But when they came to the atmosphere, they knew it was undeniable. So they would say, we perceive you are a prophet. We perceive you are like this. They knew there was an atmosphere with him that only Elijah carried. Elisha carried. Isaiah carried. They knew that he carried an atmosphere that they did not have. Yet they were in the temple. When you carry an atmosphere, you don't pray for open doors. They will open on their own. Amen. I will see. When you carry an atmosphere, when they try to mess you up, they will mess themselves up because the atmosphere is such a thick wall nobody can penetrate. I'm going to tell you one last thing and we are finished. The devil was in heaven when he was still just an angel. He started creating an atmosphere within himself because of his decisions. Because, you know, when people read this, you, I pray that you will read the Bible correctly. People think that there was a war in heaven, meaning battle whereby Satan was trying to take over heaven. That is not true. Read the scriptures correctly. The Bible says there was war in heaven. Michael fought with his angels and the devil fought with his angels. Why did they fight? The next line tells you because there was no more place for them. The atmosphere of heaven kicked them out. They were trying to hold on. Please, don't let me go. Don't let me go. The atmosphere of heaven pushed them out. That is why the Bible tells you this. Store up your treasures in heaven. Where there is no moth, there is no death. That atmosphere, nothing defiled can exist. And if it enters, it will be destroyed. Satan tried to hold on when he realized, do you know why demons are disfigured? 
Satan. Do you know why they're disfigured? What do you think when they manifest? They are like, ah, ah, ah. why don't they just stand straight normal? When they were in that atmosphere, they were fighting to remain in that atmosphere. They began to be consumed. So they fell out because the longer they were staying, they were going to be destroyed. It is the atmosphere. I wish the overflow was hearing me because people in here, I don't think they can hear me. So in finishing, learn to walk with an atmosphere. How do you create an atmosphere? Let me give you two points really quickly. The number one way you create an atmosphere is become somebody that lives a fasted life. Without fasting, you cannot bring out what is inside. Fasting does not impress God. Fasting does not make God do anything. Fasting changes you. That is the point of fasting. The Bible says Jesus was led by the Spirit of God into the wilderness. But when you read Luke chapter 4, it tells you, and Jesus came from the wilderness in the power of the Holy Spirit, not with the power of the Holy Spirit, in the power. Meaning that he was walking with an atmosphere of power. And the Bible says that fame spread across. But before that, when he was being led, there was no fame. When he was doing that 40 day, 40 nights, It was to bring out the atmosphere that was inside. That when he came out of the wilderness, listen, you can open your Bibles, we'll look at it. Can you go to Luke chapter 4 from verse 1, please? Daddy daddy knows this scripture. It's so clear. And Jesus came in the power. Okay, keep going down. This is Luke verse 1. And Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost returned from the Jordan and was led into the wilderness. Notice, when you are full of the Spirit you are led, you still don't have an atmosphere. Mm. Being filled, you don't have an atmosphere. It's a lie. Mm. That is why you can have the Holy Spirit and bad things can happen to you. Mm. You don't have an atmosphere. Mm. (laughs) I'm just being honest with you. Keep going down. Keep going down. I want to go to find the place that he says he returned from the Jordan. When he was coming from the Jordan. Go lower please. I'm not sure what verse it is. Uncle Musa. Oh, who is up there? Okay, there you go. And Jesus returned. Verse 14. And Jesus returned in the power. Of the spirit, not full of the Holy Spirit. You're already full of the Holy Spirit. You don't have an atmosphere. I feel like I'm talking to myself. Jesus is not powerful. He is in the power. He is inside of power. He is not full. You know people always talk about, there is power inside of you. No, that will not help you. That is why the Bible says, greater is he that is in you than is in he that is in the world. Well, why is he still inside of you? So as long as he's inside of you, you are powerless. Mm. I have power in the inside of me. You think it is, a, it is like a, what is it called? A bar. <laughs> a point you just hit. <laughs> yes, uh, I have power in the inside of me. Huh? So? It's not helpful. Do you know why the Bible says rivers of living waters shall flow out of you? God is trying to create an atmosphere outside of you. Not just inside of you. The one inside is to save you. The one outside is to save others. You see your clapping is so unappreciative of the Holy Spirit. I am 
the toughest man, but every time difficult situation comes, your toughness is only inside. You can't prove it. You're not tough. Mm. It's easy to think of it, but is it easy to do it? No. Different thing. So here is the issue. Jesus is going to the wilderness. He's being tempted by Satan. He's being tried by Satan. All that was to provoke him to bring an atmosphere that was inside, outside. Do you realize that when the temptation ended, was the first time that angels came to Jesus? The Bible says, and angels came and tended to him. Angels carry an atmosphere. Maybe I'm saying, you know what? I will teach this properly in prophetic school. Teaching good, Pop. I will stop here for now. I'll stop it. I'll stop it here. If I were you, I am not telling you to do what I am saying. <laughs> but if I were you, I will pick one day in a week that is my day I fast from morning to evening. Amen. No food. Maybe just water. I'm not saying not juice, don't drink juice. juice. When you're drinking juice, nutrition, you're not fasting. The only thing that is allowed in fasting is water. Don't get any fancy water. Just drink water. <laughs> if you have medical things, consult your doctors, pray and let God lead you. Pick one day in a week. That you fast. That is your day that even though you go to work, you do whatever. That day, from morning from 6 to 6, no food. You are in the mode of prayer. Why? You are trying to bring out an atmosphere from inside. Amen. In a month. So if you are fasting every week, once a week, once a week, from morning to evening, that's beautiful. You would have fasted four times, right? Yeah. Then you have every few months in a year, you fast for seven days just with water. You pick, okay, before the year begins in December, apart from the corporate prayer that we do, I, I'm, I'm not telling you to do what I'm saying. I'm just giving you ideas. Do you know why Daniel was so powerful? Daniel failed to pull the atmosphere of the country he was in. But Daniel always operated with an atmosphere. The Bible says he prayed three times a day. Every day without fail. At the same time. He had a routine to maintain. You see, an atmosphere is not a one-time thing. It's something that you cultivate. It is something you cultivate. It is something you build. It is something you maintain. If I could not manifest any virtues of God, don't believe me. Don't believe me. Just take me as somebody who is preaching something he doesn't know. How many people do you know they can preach to you and prove what they are saying? All that is not to prove me, is to prove God who is speaking to you through me. Amen. If you understood who you truly are, if you understood what is truly deposited in you when you receive Jesus, just that alone will make in fact God is the one who will tell you please stop fasting you're doing it too much God will try to talk you out of it because before you know it you become like Enoch you will disappear these are people when the light when the aha moment came ah, Enoch was taken God had to take him imagine Elijah Walked with such an atmosphere that he controlled the whole country. But he was only afraid of one woman who also could control the atmosphere. Spiritual battles is who can control the atmosphere. Not who can call on Jesus. 
The name of Jesus is powerful to you according to the atmosphere you control. That is why we are all here born again full of the Holy Spirit. But the name of Jesus is not working the same in all of us. Yet the name of Jesus is the name above all names. Is the most powerful name. The undisputed name of the living God. But you have it but you can't make anything happen with it. It's just become a chant. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Jesus. 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 Just say the name. Just say the name. Why? You know, there are certain, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like, <laughs> you know, to know too much also becomes dangerous, Apostle. People just say, if you don't know what to pray, just sit there and mention the name Jesus. <laughs> Learn to pray. You are better off reading your Bible than just chanting the name of Jesus. Amen. It's not witchcraft. It is a person. Amen. That so many people now have made it that, oh, for the name of Jesus to work, you have to say it in Hebrew. <laughs> Yeshua Hamashiach. Yet Yeshua, Jesus mean the same thing. Yahweh saves. So is God listening to the language or is God listening to the spirit behind what is being said? Amen. Amen. Is God responding to an atmosphere? In the name of Yeshua, that is his real name. I didn't know God was Jewish. He's the God of the Jews. He's the God of all creation. I didn't know that God was a Jew. But do you see, all that is because your mind is thinking like a human being. Before I even knew Jesus to be a Jew, growing up, just from reading the Bible as a child, I used the name of Jesus dangerously. It is when I came here, I was like listening to people say, yeah, are you, you know, if you say Jesus, you have to say it so many times for something to work. But when you say, yeah, sure. <laughs> we are caught up in the nonsense because we don't understand the God we are serving. Even a devil worshiper can mention Jesus. But if there is an atmosphere, he will never say that name. Because the atmosphere will cause repercussions if you say that name. Amen. How many people in the occult do you know they use the King James Bible? It's a requirement. Yeah. Go to the Masons. They have Bibles. They may even quote you verses that you don't even know. And they will say, wow, we love Jesus. Mm, Jesus, Savior of the world. That doesn't mean he's in them. They have no atmosphere, so there's no repercussion. But if you pass there with the atmosphere you've received today. Amen. Amen. See, you say in the name of Jesus. The atmosphere covers the place. Yes. Yes. Occultic powers will be broken. Yes. Generational curses will be broken. Yes. Yes. Curses will be destroyed. Yes. Yes. I want you to lift up your voice and say, Lord, Lord. I desire the heavenly atmosphere. I desire, I desire the, the heavenly atmosphere. atmosphere. You see, when Jesus prayed, taught the apostles to pray in Matthew chapter 6, when he says, your kingdom come, your will be done. He was invoking the atmosphere. He was calling on the atmosphere. That a city is in heaven, let it happen on earth. Why? It's an atmosphere. I want you to raise your voice sincerely. I just gave you the biggest cheat code of Christianity. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We receive. Amen. You just, you just learned something that would have taken you 60, 70 years to know. In a few hours. Amen. Amen. 
Some of you would have discovered about this in heaven. Be like, wow, I had access to this atmosphere on earth and I did. Lift up your voice and cry to Jesus. Say, Lord, I desire Lord. to walk with a, 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 an atmosphere of heaven. I desire that atmosphere in my home, in my business, in my career. Cause me to walk with that atmosphere. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Mando kure pa tuna pande ni mamra uta gasa. Zekure manda basere kisha ayabase ni pra atu. Linda la vinde le kototos. Zandure korudos ba ande le mimbra uta banas. Zepando le ni krodos be inde le ni pre inde ba. Do karuba inde le ni gredes ko aruba no de. Ekro de ves atuna nama atili menaru ko sodos akrado ves inde le ni pre watili bando krisi batuska atu. Karisko atuma ata asma ambele ni pre iske zoreske indele ni prodova di brendele ni pradoska atula vinde de karos lira basele ni pre si katoske indele ni prodo le pantora bi keri bari baba basu de beke ni pre le pantora kase indele ni krosaba rabus. I want you to pray this prayer that Apostle is going to lead you in. Pray sincerely. The troubles you're going through, if the atmosphere changes, the results will be different. How many people believe that? No, you don't seem like you believe that. Your clapping says you don't really believe that. Maybe the overflow believes it. I want you to lift up your voice. As the apostle leads you in prayer, I want you to pray with intensity. Pray with precision. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor. Pray with intensity. And pray with a decision that your life must change. Go ahead, apostle. Lord, I lift my voice and I surrender to your Lordship. Lord, I yield to your Spirit. I surrender my faculties. I surrender my faculties. Father, be Lord over my Spirit. 
over my soul, over my body, as I yield to you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kora Basanda, lift your voice. Libra da Sukata Yarababa, lift your voice. Rabba Santa Bakila Babande Lebedosa. Lift up your voice, lift up your voice, lift up your voice. Surrender to God, surrender to God. Rabba dosa makanda rabba beri andere beriost. Libra da sota la babana makata la babana masoni. Lipa no kure ma de basiti ma. Zipa yeke ti amando ropa de begi. La tu rabba da base. Zima ganda bagi. Ropa de bagi la amando rese. Rabba bana bakata la babora la bashanda la babi. Rabba bondele bedo santa bakata la babara babi. Rabba bando robo shata bali babiri anda babo sekete. Rabba bondele bedo sara babara bakata la babaya. Rabba bondele bedo robo shata babara babi. Masata la babana masata la babi. Rabba bondele bedo robo shata babi. Rabba bondele bedo robo shata babi. Rabba bana Rabba bana makata la bara la maso de 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 bosha. Rabba bara la bote de 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 bosha de 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 de. Mara la bote de 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 bosha. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. 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 In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. My eyes have been opened. My eyes have been opened. Today my eyes have been opened. Today my eyes have been opened. As I move in this new level. As I move in this new level. Father empower me. Father empower me. I have decided. I have decided to walk with an atmosphere. To walk with an atmosphere. I have decided. I have decided to flow with an atmosphere. To flow with, with an atmosphere. atmosphere. Father, break my flesh. Father, break, break my, my flesh. flesh. That the atmosphere within. That the atmosphere within. The glory within. The glory within. That has been deposited by the Holy Spirit. That has been deposited by the Holy Spirit. That will reflect the King of Glory, Jesus Christ. Reflect the King of Glory, Jesus Christ. Do it for me today, Lord. Do it for me today, Lord. For the sake of my family. For the sake of my family. For the sake of my people. For the sake of my people. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice, seriously. Lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Today, as I leave this place. Today, as I leave this place. The atmosphere I carry. The atmosphere I carry. Will bring healing. Will bring healing. Will bring deliverance. Will bring deliverance. Will bring transformation. Will bring transformation. Will bring elevation. Will bring elevation. Not just to me. Not just to me. But everyone around me. But everyone around me. Expand me, O Lord. Expand me, O Lord. Expand me, O Lord. Expand me, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Rabba <laughs> 
Are you still here? Yes. Are you still here? Yes. Are you sure you're here? Yes. Lift up your hands. Everybody in this building, lift up your hands. I want to pray that as you have opened yourself to the Lord, I want to pray that the atmosphere of this house will follow you. Your amen is too small. Overflow, I can't hear your amen. If you want this, shout amen. Amen. Listen to what the Bible says. It says... And the power of the Lord was available to heal them. You want an ever ready atmosphere. Ready to serve what God has given you to do. Jesus depended on that. That's why wherever he went, he could perform things. There is only one place that he went to his hometown. The Bible says, and he could do no miracles. Do you know why? In his hometown... They disrupted his atmosphere. But because Jesus said we will do greater things, yours will never be disrupted. Amen. Your clapping is a little bit too small. You are going to pray now. Father, as your servant prays, I don't want to miss this atmosphere. If there's anything that will keep me from receiving it, Father, help me now, cleanse me now, separate me now from it, that I don't miss this atmosphere. I'm giving you one minute to pray sincerely. Lift up your voice and pray. Isandor de banda bagiste maquisto. Lenda gunde vi manda baze ma rovanda bagasta. Lete mando re bande ginde vista lunghe shiva. Me rovunde vi kate mando la vasta. Ze punda mande gisto uste inda. Le panda vagande maleakista. Ze kunde la mando re panda baga. E can see pande male sila kush. Vantu ye pite mande kista. Roman da bande de kinte le mando vakista. Le kusanda, le kusanda. Me can de bazite kista kule va. Me te kinda rabazu de bakista. Me ti katushte. Manda la mando i pa e pa e pa e. E can zutu ne bista. In Jesus name. The mighty name of Especially, we have people who are members of the church, mm. and there are people who say, Papa Law is my father. Especially you. Yes. Amen. You cannot not have the atmosphere that I carry. It just doesn't make sense. Amen. How can we be family? Amen. How can we be spiritual family? Mm. Isaac carried the same atmosphere his father yes. carried. 
Israel carried the same atmosphere. His grandfather, his father carried. Joseph carried the same atmosphere. It did not matter where they were. They never failed. There was an atmosphere. Amen. You can't be part of Elias generation without this atmosphere. Amen. Jesus left an atmosphere that the 12 walked with. The 12 spread it across. Wherever they went, it was like Jesus was in that place. Atmosphere. Ah. Especially if you are in ministry. We are in this building right now because of the atmosphere. The building didn't make us great. Our atmosphere could afford this building. And our atmosphere will afford many others. If our atmosphere was smaller than where we are, then we would not be able to be here. Imagine people are coming from everywhere to see a, an African man. A young, handsome, skinny African man. But it is not me. You are attracted by an atmosphere that your eyes can see it, but you know it is there. You are clapping as jealousy in it. Trust me, I know, I know for a fact, it's not even a question. I walk with a deep atmosphere. I know it. When I went to Big Bear this past few days with, with, uh, with the family, I also brought one of my, uh, my, my friends, but he's also a fighter, but he's also a trainer, because I wanted to work out while I was out there in elevation, right? Ah, it was brutal. <laughs> elevation is real. But I was up there, and... He was shocked because I had moments that I was just with him. He was like, you know, you always have this thing that just pulls people. Because we were out, we, you know, we were at the skiing place. And everybody was gone and I was trying to get change my shoes. He was just shocked how people are just coming and giving me aid. They don't even know what is wrong, but they're telling me, let's do it this way. He was like, how, how is this? I looked at him, I said, there's an atmosphere you can't see. When you walk with an atmosphere, it will flex the muscles of Jesus. You won't need to force anything. You are forcing things because you don't have an atmosphere. So you are trying to look a certain way to try and be cool. But it's an atmosphere. You can wear rags. And still do deep, attract deep. You see, there is a lot of women. You are not getting married. Not because you are not beautiful. There is an atmosphere the devil took from you. So it doesn't matter how beautiful you are. No man will ever commit to you or see you. You see, part of deliverance, it is a restoration of an atmosphere that you were born with. When somebody is born under a curse or somebody is in a curse, it means that their atmosphere has been disrupted. That is why chaos keeps happening around them. Even if they are doing right, Things are always chaotic. There is always one thing. If it's not another, another thing. If it is not this thing, this, that, that. It is because the atmosphere is disrupted. You see, when your atmosphere is intact, even if things are going wrong, you are fine. A thousand will fall on your right. Amen. Left. Ten thousand on your right. It will not come near you. Why? There is an atmosphere. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall not come near you because of an atmosphere. Amen. When you're reading these scriptures, many of you don't know. But today you know, now you're understanding. Ah, it was an atmosphere. That is why it can't come close to you. 
It's an atmosphere. I'm going to give you 20 seconds again. I am, I am telling you these things to truly have your heart open to the Holy Spirit. Amen. So that you don't miss this. Amen. <clears throat> Are you ready? Yes. Pray again that you will not miss the atmosphere. Lift your voice. Libra dust. Zikando revanda bagista labando. Melekinda la kunde vista ista ora vanda basile mando kutiba ande vagis. Kuste mandala zile mando. Lengande levinda le kunde le manda rabasete kista ba. Zende le kindo romanda vagande viki tika ya basi. Lo shandanda basi patu le malika. Vekande le zile mando ropanda vagite le me. Re panda ba sante kita, ze kuro manda ba. Le pande pande viki te mando, ze pande kita ya. Ro pande mande le vira, le panda kande masi le kusta la bando, le pan si pande pa, le pande kinde le bando ro pa, re pande masi ne la kanda ba ze de ba ze de ba ze de ba ze de. Ye pa ye pa, me ti kita tu ye, zinda kinde le bando ro pa, ve sa mande ze. Pando kunde mande le vista le gusta ze tanda basande basande ropan le bande vikita le pando kuse manda base. La masse tiki tiki tika to ropa zipa ropa mande kinda le bando ropa nda basete zanduste mande bakista le kanda bande bande ropa mande kinda zokuye ba zipando kuse tika tika mande kinda ropa nda basete zanduste mande bakista le kanda bande bande ropa mande kinda zokuye ba in Jesus name Jesus name close your eyes lift your hands. Even if you're on overflow, lift your hands. When this comes on you, you will be changed. Things will never be the same. Look to Jesus, don't look at me, focus on Jesus. Even in the overflow, lift your hands. Don't mind people. Keep your eyes on the Lord Jesus. Lifting hands is a sign of total surrender to God. It is a prayer on its own. If you are watching at home, make sure you are standing by a couch. Because when the atmosphere comes, it will be heavy. Elohim El Shaddai. My Lord and my God, the God of the universe, the creator of all things, you who knows all things, you who is in all things, you who holds everything together. We have heard your word. Your word is truth. Your word is life. And today we desire to walk in that realm and that dimension of life that you have ordained. Lord, I pray, let the heavens be open and let the cloud of your presence, your atmosphere come upon these people, beginning from the overflow to this main sanctuary. <sighs> let the presence and the atmosphere of God down in Jesus' name. Like the wind blow, blow upon them, blow upon them. Let the atmosphere cause them to enter into a realm of tongues and prayer that they have never touched. Let a cry of the spirit be born out of them. Like fire, let it burn. Like fire, let it be ignited now. The cloud 
of the Spirit, the cloud of the Spirit, the cloud of the Spirit, the cloud of the Spirit. Look at what is happening. The cloud of the Spirit. Cloud of the Spirit, cloud of the Spirit. Cloud of the Spirit. Cloud of the Spirit. Zeko Keliga. Mendele Lia Arata Ita Rotekaba. Zetore Meke Tiga Akura. Zekete. Let it be like oil on your head. Let it be like fire on your head. Let it begin to burn. Don't cover anybody. Leave them alone. Don't disrupt what God is doing. Leave them alone. Zeko Rapika Aketiga. Fire! 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 The atmosphere of fire. The atmosphere of glory. The atmosphere of transformation. The atmosphere of success. The atmosphere of change. Tongues of fire, tongues of fire, tongues of fire. Like fire, like fire, like fire. Don't cover anybody. Leave them alone. Leave them, leave them. Like fire. Atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. Let it be brought from the depth of you. Let the heart of prayer be born. Let of the realm of prayer be birthed. Don't look around, focus on God. An atmosphere, an atmosphere, an atmosphere. Angels, angels, move among them. Angels, 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 angels. Hey, let it be like fire. Let it be like electricity. May they see the lights of heaven. May they see visions of heaven. May they see the light and the cloud covering this place. In the name of Jesus. A shift, a shift, a shift. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Let it move from the depth of your belly. Let your spirit be turned. Let your spirit be turned. Turn, turn. Let 
A fresh baptism. Fresh oil. Fresh baptism. Fresh oil. Fresh baptism. Uh, they can't hide from me. How? <laughs> me. <laughs> you know, one of my names is Kana. I will scan you. I will find you. I will track you down. I will see you. Amen. Amen. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> I will see you. When you are in the atmosphere, nothing is hidden. Nothing. Even when people are planning against you, you will know. Yes. When people are trying to destroy you, you will never have to use your muscle. Yes. You will control things from a distance. Yes. Lift your hands to heaven. Say, Father. Father. I desire this atmosphere. I desire this atmosphere. Do you realize the Bible says that where the Spirit of God is, there is liberty? Why? There is an atmosphere. Delivering people should be so easy, not because you claimed you called on Jesus. Atmosphere. Me, I don't need to make you confess a million sins of your ancestors. My atmosphere is enough because what Jesus is more than enough. Jesus did more than enough. He knows everything already. As long as you are available in the place, uh, Jesus will save you. I don't need you to make a million confessions, read a list. It is not bad. Is it necessary? No. What if somebody can't speak? What if they don't understand the language? There is no translator. So if you are depending on physical means and you're not going beyond to into the spiritual meat, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. This should be in you. Whether you are young, you are old, this should be in you. Me, it's been in me not because I was perfect. You probably are more righteous than me. It's just the grace of God. You know me, I don't boast of what I don't. If I am, I will tell you, I am no better than you. If God can grant me that, how much more for you? Yeah. Come to me. Listen, to have the power of God is not only the ability to give life, it's to take it. That is true power. Ah, Moses was upset. You guys, I brought you all this way. You're doing. He opened the ground and the ground swallowed them. God pretended not to see. <laughs> When God said, let me destroy these people, they are sinning. He said, Lord, why would you destroy them? They are your people. Then he comes down the mountain. He finds them misbehaving. He said, you guys are building a golden calf. When I am interceding for you before God, all those who are on my side come. He opened, the Bible says he opened a highway to hell from where he was. They fell and he closed the ground. God pretended he didn't see. Wow. Moses, the most meek person. If you understood how empowered you are by God, your problem is you are too nice. You know, me, I am not a modern day prophet. Because there is no such thing as a modern day prophet. The spirit of the prophets is an ancient spirit. It's not a modern spirit. It doesn't exist. Me, I'm old school. I, I, I am in the wrong dispensation. I'm telling you the truth. Because me, I'm just like the ones that were before me. Me, you play, I would, uh, I would chop you. <laughs> Not physically, spiritually. Uh, don't make that mistake. Peter, you lied to Peter. Peter looked at you and said, hey, you thought you were lying to me. You undermined me. Because you just see Peter. Do you understand the atmosphere that I carry? You thought you are talking to me, but you're talking to God. Because you have done this, he took his life, the man fell down and he was buried. 
His wife also came. He said, hey. Uh, did you guys really do this? He said, yeah. He said, wasn't the land yours? Who asked you to sell it? You see, this is why it is very dangerous. When you come to church, you see, when people come to me and say, I have this amount to give, I never respond. Because for me, what I carry, you can't buy it. Even I can't afford it. So if you bring money thinking I will talk to you, you actually just told me that I should never speak to you. When you are giving, give because you love God, not because you are trying to impress somebody. Not with me. When you give, give genuinely. Don't give because you're trying to advertise yourself. Love God genuinely. These people sold their lands, but they were trying to impress Peter. Ah, Peter said, did you do this? Yeah, he said, why are you, have, have you allowed the devil to play you like this? The young man, notice he's inside the house. He can see the young men that are just finished burying her husband. He said, the young men that just buried your husband, they are at the door, ready to take you to bury you also. She fell down and died. This is why even the, 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 the young men of God there, I told them, be careful how you speak. Even though what I gave them will develop, it's not there yet. I am wise. I won't give you a bazooka <laughs> or a nuclear bomb. I won't. Kadogo is, that's exactly it. You get a small pew pew. And as you mature, God upgrades you. What I'm telling you is, you know, you think I'm joking, but what I'm telling you is genuine. Peter slashed people. Our husband and wife, he didn't care if they had children, they died. Because of mockery of the spirit of God. They undermined him because of how he looked. They did not understand that there is an atmosphere that he has. When they did that to Jesus, Jesus said, let me give them a warning because they don't. He said, listen, every other sin you'll be forgiven. But when you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, what is blaspheming against the Holy Spirit? When you see the move and the power of God, an atmosphere, and you insult it, now you're poking God, you're no longer messing with a man. If you don't like what Prophet Lovi does, Turn your page, go somewhere else. The moment you start attacking that, you are no longer fighting me. You are fighting an atmosphere that is bestowed on me. Come on. Now you are creating a fight that no one can save you from and you cannot win. It's wisdom. Listen, I'm honest before God. There are people that have died because they touched me. I'm not saying this to scare anyone. Since I was a child, this one is before God. Even men of God. This one I'm telling you before the Lord. When you carry an atmosphere, there are people that God will just delete. Yes. <laughs> hey. Do you realize... That God destroyed nations. Remember, they are all his creation. They are all his people. But the ones that carried his atmosphere were more precious to him. He's like, listen, the Amorites, bang. Egyptians, he was killing them for the sake of an atmosphere that will touch the world. Now you imagine if you carry this atmosphere. You just not, oh, so and so was fired in the company. Why? Nobody knows. Or the promotion is yours. Huh? But because you are deep, you will understand, ah, they try to touch me. Come on. Woman of God, wake up, wake up. You are tired, eh? <laughs> you feel tired? Yes. Jesus loves you so much. You are free now. I am. Stand up for I'm me. Sick. Lift up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Thank you for helping me. 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 Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your spirit. Save my soul. Save my soul. May your atmosphere. May my atmosphere. Your atmosphere. Your atmosphere. Heaven. Heaven. Be manifest. Be manifest. In my life. In my life.
please go and sit. It's done. It's finished. Now, I, I want to finish this because I have, I've gone a little longer. We have a trading post today. But pray a lot for this thing. I'm telling you. Pray too much for this thing. Let it be every day you wake up, say, Lord, ignite the atmosphere of heaven around me. Let your presence saturate me. You notice God and his presence are two different things. The presence is the atmosphere. When you walk in, when you're leaving your house, you say, Father, today when I step into that place of meeting, when I go to this, the atmosphere of success, of breakthrough, of transfer. Yes, yes, I will see. So you become a walking breakthrough. A b no longer praying for it, but the source of it. You were called to walk in power, not in sentiments. Good. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 let us make man in our image let him have dominion over this 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 God you are created for power power is given to support and to aid others if it is used to manipulate it's no longer power it's corruption but because you belong to Jesus you will walk in genuine power amen amen I want to do this baby dedication very quickly. Come, come, Wes. Let me use this atmosphere because God just told me something about your baby. Amen. Bring him to me. Come quickly with the whole family. Come. Keep standing. Stay standing. We are finishing. But as I was doing this, I was going to get people to give to God and then I do baby dedication. But God is speaking to me to do something for the child now. Don't be afraid, family. Relax. <laughs> the worst thing that can happen to encounter Jesus is to be blessed. Amen. And to be made free. That is the worst. Mm, okay, angel. All right, I see you. Uh, I see you. I see you. <laughs> I see you. God bless the whole family. We'll see. We'll see. You and the baby and go this way. First, we'll start with you guys first. Blessings. The rest of the family can be this side. Let, let me, can I hold him? There is an apostolic grace upon this child. What I'm telling you is, you know, anyone that knows me, I don't prophesy to people I know. But if God tells me, I will tell you. I'm sorry. He will do all the things you want him to do. But this guy will serve God. Yeah. He's the Amen. one that God has chosen in your family to be the seed of serving God. Amen. As the firstborn, your first child is belonging to God, not to you. Amen. So, as you raise him, always remember to tell him that he carries the seal of God on his life. Yeah. God will always bless him. God will always protect him. Mm -hmm. But it is your duty to raise him into that atmosphere. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And because you are carrying greatness, greatness is in your house. You cannot birth greatness without you yourself having greatness with you. Amen. I receive. I receive. So this means that God must make you rich. Yeah. I receive. Uh, I receive. I receive. God is good. Because if he's going to serve God, yes. he cannot serve God in the old way. Amen. He must already have advantages. Yes. Look at me. I don't serve God because I'm hungry. I don't serve God because I have a check. In fact, I don't even get paid from the church. I serve God because I love God and he called me. It is a calling. 
Amen. Not that there is anything wrong with being paid for serving God. How are you going to feed your family? But when God has opened many streams, it doesn't matter anymore. You are the giver. You're not the receiver. Amen. So God is going to make you great. God is going to make you extra great. Listen to me. My prayer is this because I know your heart. If you can remain humble, oh my God. <laughs> Hollywood has been given to you, honestly. She's not as excited, I'm so it's serious. okay. I'm, I'm just taking it all in. I'm hearing you. I'm telling you the I'm truth. You. you will be one of the biggest names in acting. Mm, I receive. I receive. This one is a real thing. Mm -hmm. If you will remain your eyes on Christ and work on your craft and look to Jesus, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. I receive. You will thank me later. I receive. You will come and say, ah, Papa Lo, you know, <laughs> I have this one million I just wanted to give for you to buy soda. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 When we are buying Coca Cola for one million, one bottle, you know we are doing well in life. We have won. Amen. God will make you extremely prosperous. And even you. Uh, yeah. Mm, mm. I receive. <laughs> but all that will happen. Mm -hmm. Because God is entrusting you with his servant. Yes. Amen. Amen. And for the whole family, mamas and papas and uncles and aunties and everybody else, your duty is to support them in prayer and support him in prayer. Always. Money you will give, tomorrow it will run out. Prayer is eternal. Amen. It will always be available spiritually to cover him. This is a reality. I am a product of prayer. Apostle. Apostle G. Yes, sir. Come, 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 please. Handsome Apostle. I want you to anoint this young man. You carry the apostolic, so it's the, the oil is with uh, Mama Paula. He will receive a double portion because you will give him apostolic activation. I will give him prophetic. Amen. Release our word, Apostle. Mr. Karusta Bari at Eli Brusta Masanta Arusta Bakusi Bria Atala Babaya. Oh, glory to God. Masara Basute Libra Dabayanda Babaya. May you be a mouthpiece. May you establish in the kingdom of God. In Jesus' name. It is done. Amen. Who's going to hold, baby? Both of you lift hands. Give me oil now. Wealth, wealth. <laughs> Grandmothers, mama, come. Uh, yeah, come, come, come. The, you might want to give somebody the baby just in case. <laughs> May there be a fresh unction that will come on you both to be able to divinely cover them according to what God desires. Just close your eyes. Don't even look at me. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Changes. 
that will be lasting for this family. Amen. 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 It is done. Amen. Tell him he's been winning awards from the day he was born. Amen. It's official. Frame it. And Jesus is glorified. Clap for Jesus. May God bless the whole family. God is good. Grab what you want to give to Jesus. And as you give today, I want you to have something in your heart. Say, Father, as I give, like Solomon, let it establish the atmosphere of heaven in my life. Are you listening to me? You are not buying anything from God. You are establishing it. Mm. Mr. Rosen, God bless you, sir. Are you excited to be in God's house? Ah, your yeses are too dry. Are you excited to be in God's house? Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up what you're giving to God. And I want you to make a declaration to God. I want you to open your mouth and pray. And tell the Lord to establish you in this atmosphere. Don't get tired. Stand up. I've been standing since the beginning. Lift up your voice and pray. Rekapalasha. Zepando kure manda vagite mi kantele mando robanda vazele. Zepanda gista kure ma adabazande vagista kuye. Zande mande le gista robande vagite ma. Le kandele mando ropa ya pasiti. Zepando kure vandikita matuye ba. Ropa de mande le kine masute. Zandu ruma gande bagiti makutia Marova zepande kista rovande Lekande bazite maku rovande bagiste kitaya Oshipande makista kurova In Jesus name In Jesus name Say Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus I seal myself I seal myself with my sacrifice with my sacrifice before you before you that I will walk that I will walk that I will flow that I will flow with the atmosphere of heaven with the atmosphere of heaven an atmosphere of healing an atmosphere of healing an atmosphere of deliverance an atmosphere of deliverance that my presence that my presence will shift things will shift things and change things and change things today receive my sacrifice Today receive my sacrifice. Receive my offering. Receive my offering. And may your name be glorified. And may your name be glorified. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come and lay your sacrifice before God. Even the overflow, let them all come here.
sometimes I wonder how you can you can stand without dancing in the presence of the Lord when we have this powerful band behind us. Hey, hey. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Father, we give you praise. We give you thanks for the change, for the atmosphere change in our lives. We thank you, Lord, that it is radiating in everything that we do. Father, that we are going into our businesses with an atmosphere change. We are going into our homes with an atmosphere change. We are going, Lord, into our careers with an atmosphere change. Father, that we will experience it in every sphere of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We still have people coming to give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God richly bless you. And remember, we have the trading post outside where we have some merch. You can purchase and have fun and just fellowship out there with us. Hallelujah. God richly bless you. We love you. And please invite people to Thursday service. Amen. This service was such a powerful and incredible service. Don't forget to re-watch it on YouTube. This is not something that you want to miss. But for now, we have the Trading Post live right now in the, in the parking lot. So right after church, just go ahead and go to the parking lot. See all of the vendors that we have going on. Don't forget to support our community and our family. And don't forget that the Daughters of Revelation event with Prophetess Maggie is this Tuesday, just two days away at 7 p.m. And we will see you there. We love you. Happy Sunday. Mwah!